If you know just a little bit about me, you know that um, the loves of my life are my two dogs, Mandy and Lucy. And if you know just a little bit more about me, you might know that my oldest dog, Lucy, who was somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 years old, died a couple weeks ago. And um, it will never be said about Lucy that she was a short changed on a long life. But um, she, uh, the last couple weeks have obviously been a little bit sad. And every time I thought about tonight's show, like I just didn't know, you know, I didn't know how I felt. And I, I was just really, really sad. And I was like, you know what I want to do tonight? Like, I want to turn MBAR into the Staples Center. And, <laughs> and I want to yeah. give I want there to be an online lottery for the show. Now. And I want to, like, just imagine, like, when you walk in, that you saw, like, right here, a, 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 a wall-sized picture of, um, you know, all of Lucy's iconic poses, but, like, um, the one with her, like, sneaking out from underneath the bed, and her with a treat in her mouth. Like, right here would be the one with her, like, wrapped up in a white blanket. We always called that picture putting in a cloud. And, um, Right in here would be the, uh, the picture of her, like at my parents' house, uh, sitting in the same chair with her sister Mandy. And there would be like a picture of uh, Mandy and Lucy um, in the snow in Santa Fe. And I would invite every celebrity friend that Lucy had, um, because you may know this, you may not know this. Lucy and Mandy both uh, worked as extras on Gilmore Girls from time to time. And, I'm, and Sally Struthers would probably tell the story about how. Um, she noticed that Lucy was thirsty and she brought over a cup of water and the climax of the story is that Lucy drank it and, um, and Kathy Bates would probably tell the story whenever she was on Larchmont Village and Lucy and I walked by and she waved at Lucy like Lucy was a person and, um, and of course Mandy would want to speak and she would get up here and she would say I just want you to know that Lucy was the best sister you could ever imagine and I love her very much. And, you know, um, and uh, hopefully Jennifer Hudson, or at the very least Tracy Swartz, would come out in a flowing white gown. You know, and, uh, I like the rhythm of Joe. I will say to you, you are my friend. And then, like, you know, slowly, one by one, Tim Coyne and Richard Lucas and Janet and Tara and Sarah and Linda would come out, like, in suits. And all the girls would wear kind of surprisingly short skirts. And, um, and then they'd all have, like, a yellow, um, you know, off of the yellow boutonniere. They're like, you said to me. And it'd be, like, kind of like fake sign language, like, Everybody would like the city, like uh, Mayor Villa Ragoso. I can't say that. Would say Los Angeles will pay for Lucy's funeral. <laughs> no, everybody in the world were like, you know, send envelopes with five dollar bills and ten dollar bills because everybody wants to be a part of the celebration of Lucy's life. And Bernie Madoff will find the eight hundred million dollars that he buried in his pocket and he'll offer it back to the people that he stole it from, and they'll say. We'll take a little, but mostly we want most of it to go to the celebration of Lucy's life. Yeah. And every problem in the world will be solved. The Christian right will say, what's the big deal about gay marriage? I just want to be happy. You know? yeah. Because if you've ever lost a pet, you know that when they go, you want not just everybody to know, but everybody that's ever existed to take a moment and celebrate the life of your loved one, right? So um, she may not have been the king of pop, but um, I wouldn't have been. Um, but she was the queen of my heart. You know, we tell a lot of stories. Uh, this is what we do here. We tell stories, you know? And some of the stories we tell are funny and true, and sometimes they're just true. And I just want to tell you Basically, I'm saying this probably isn't going to be that funny. Um, I want to tell you the story of when Lucy first came into, into my life. And I went to, it started in 
March of 2000, and I was I went to the Pasadena Humane Society, and I was I was looking at all the dogs, and I I couldn't you know all of them were really perky and really you know they were puppies and just really happy and a lot of tail wagging except for this one dog, and uh, she was. Uh, she, you know, she was like at the fence and she was looking at me. And at the time, her name was Fudgy. And the little sign said that she was four. And um, she had like teeth missing and she had like the beginnings of a gray mask. And she just looked a little on the sad side. But I liked her. And so I took her into the um, socialization room. So, whatever it's called. And, um, <laughs> so, whatever it's called, yeah. Um, and instead of like, I threw the ball and she wasn't interested and I, I tried to run around with her and she wasn't interested. And I gave her treats, which she like ate with, you know, reluctance. And, um, and I just thought, oh, this poor lost soul. Like, you know, if I don't take her, I don't know who will. So, uh, you know, and I, I was like, well, okay, I'll, I'll take her. And so I gave the money, they, they said they, they needed a spayer and I came back a couple days later, later and if she was fragile when the, I saw her before, she was even more fragile. I don't know if she actually did have the cone, but in my memory, she had the cone. And she was like, you know, just, just really meek. And they gave me this uh, bottle of, um, of pills. I'm like, well, what's this, you know? And they're like, well, she had an infection. We uh, discovered a, a cyst when we opened her up and uh, she had an ectoptic pregnancy, like I knew what that was. And, um, and, and I was just like, oh my God, I, I was so scared because, you know, the reason I, I, I've always been a little on the histrionic side, and, um, and the reason I got a dog is like, I want my pan, I had all these panic attacks, and I was like, I want my panic attacks to go away, I want my, I, you know, I, I want it to be easier. And, and I, I remember thinking like, I wanted to ask, but I was afraid to ask, I'm like, is she gonna die, you know? But I didn't ask, so um, I took her home, and then a couple days later, I went to Palm Springs, and where she developed a honk, where she was like, ha, 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 ha. And I was there with two friends, I was like, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know, you know? And, and I finally, like, my friend Michelle, uh, we got into this kind of, uh, you know, like, what's wrong with her? And she was like, I don't know what's wrong with her. I'm like, I don't you know. And then, she, and then like the rest of the night, like when everybody's like going to bed and like you hear like, ha, 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 ha. And then like the sound of like people like slapping their pillows because they're so mad. Like, ha, 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 ha. And then the next day, we, we leave Palm Springs and we're on our way home and we go to, um, we stop at the outlet mall in Camarillo. And, uh, and you know it, it's too hot, so we can't leave Lucy in the car. And the, the, the outlet doesn't let um, people, uh, you know, take bring their, their dogs into the stores. And I'm sitting so while my friends are having a good time shopping, I'm like, you know, stuck with this dud. And um, and we uh, and this little old elderly woman comes up to me, and she sits down with me, and she's like petting Lucy. And she's like, oh, your dog is so cute. And I'm like, well, she's older than I thought she was. And, uh, she has an infection, and I don't even know what an ectopic pregnancy is. And she has this cough. And, you know, and she's just like, well, you know, you're going to have a very wonderful life together. No, 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 wait, oh, shoot, I already screwed it up. Um, no, she's like, you're going to have, you're going to have many wonderful years together. And then my friends came back, and she left, and that woman's name was Betty White. No, not really. Um, and, and then the next day, I took Lucy to the vet, and that was like, yeah, she's definitely not four. She's definitely older than that. She's probably closer to seven. And, um, you know, he gave her medicine for the, for the kennel cough. It was kennel cough. And she never had another problem with the, the infection in her belly. And, you know... She started out as an old dog, and she just got older and older and older and older. But the woman's words were prophetic because we had many wonderful years together. And I hope my hope is for all, for all of you is that you all have at least one Lucy in your lifetime. My name is Ray Bonhart.